Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, today one of you he posted, I don't know who, I mean he claimed to be Christian but if he is a Christian he is a fool. Uh, you know always we say post my videos for Muslims to watch, they watch them. What the, what the Christian they do? They post the Muslim videos around. <laughs> so if this guy is a Christian he's an idiot. If he is not, if obviously he's a Muslim trying he playing Christian. So this guy he came to my page and he says, uh, greeting CP. A Muslim recently respond to Christian the following comment about one of your videos in YouTube. I hope you make a video to rebuke this. CP is not a student of religion. Sure, I'm not a student of religion. I'm a scholar of Islam. I'm I am the master of Islam. Your God Allah cannot even dare to get it close to me. Comparative study, for sure, for sure. You got the prophet, he came 600 years after Jesus. He cannot even read the Bible. He is illiterate. He did not know one verse from the Bible. He cannot read Hebrew. He cannot read the Greek. He never saw Jesus. He never spoke to Allah. And he is the one who did comparative study. Look who's talking. Uh, he is using dirty tactique. Yeah, 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 dirty tactic, um, dirty tactic, dirty tactic. Yeah, this is remind me when Muhammad he sent one of his companion to knock at the door of a Jew late at night, claiming that he want to borrow some food from him. When he got in, the guy is over ninety years old. When he got in, he killed the guy, and Muhammad he praised this hero who killed a Jewish guy in his back, a very old man. Dirty tactic. The followers of a scumbag like Muhammad talking about dirty tactic. Or what about the Quran saying you can buy people to convert to Islam? Use the money, some of it, for those who their heart is not into Islam but they want money. Dirty tactic. Or the one who prays a pimp for he converting to Islam and all the clothing he is wearing including his underwear, is from the money of poor women who work for him as a prostitute. This is the truth. Dirty tactic. And now he want to clean his image, so he claimed that he is a Muslim now. Uh, then he says only he has a screen. Why you call me? I will put your screen there. Just show me the reference. I will put it there. He interrupt them and doesn't let them speak. How I can interrupt you and doesn't let you speak. I will give you an example. Who is the one who called Mimi Hijab? Is it Mimi Hijab who came to my channel or I am the one who went to his channel? It's me who did, right? How many times I did or I was able to ask questions? None. How many times he hung up on me? Six, seven times, eight times? I did not talk. He, they were so intimidated, supposed they were going to have a debate. Did we have a debate? Did we? So who is the coward and who is the one who do not need moderator? I came to your channel, to the biggest guy you have, and this guy is just a cockroach, but you know, our friend uh, David Wood, anything he touch, he make it cold. You know, if not David Wood, this guy is a street boy. Nobody care for him. David Wood, he made him famous. The same as Sheikh Othman, the ketchup boy. David Wood, he liked to support Muslims as usual, you know. He do things, uh, incredible things. So you're a stupid idiot, the coward. He don't dare. I go to his channel. Do he dare to call me? Do he dare to come to my channel? And not only that, the coward, he put the speakers far away from the microphone so nobody in his broadcast will hear what I'm saying. Nobody will hear it. Go watch it. They put the computer, the laptop, where this, the voice is coming at the end of the room. So whatever Christian Prince he say, Muslims cannot hear it. Very dirty, low ethic people. And then he said, did you say that? What, what I said, you said to a Muslim woman, suckle me, I was, I said to him, I was caught in your faith, you prophet, you idiot. He cut the video and he said, oh, look, he is saying suckle me, but he did not play the part where his sister, she was saying, Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. She's a whore, and they use a whore to frame me. And then they say, did you say that uh, you have AIDS? You, you, you filthy. 
The Quran says the Christians are nudges. They are pigs and monkeys are donkeys. And we, when I insult this woman, who she said, oh, Christian prince, you are still single because the Christian women have AIDS. So Christian women have AIDS and your women don't have AIDS. Who is number one sex tourist in the world? Just ask yourself, who is the number one pervert? According to Google, number one people in the world who search for sex with donkey is Pakistan. Am I lying? So Muslims, because they are so much in pain because of what I do. Never describe them as they deserve. They will accuse you of being a bad person. They try to frame you. And actually, even Muslims, they do those dirty tricks to each other. You see, Muslims, they are a nation of taqiyya, which means it's allowed to lie, 328 in the Quran. This is Mimi Hijab lying, saying that Muslim men, they marry Muslim women for two minutes. All you're happy to do, you and your friends, yeah, is acquiesce to the fact that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five. Who in the world would have believed that there is a Muslim, he married a Muslim woman for two minutes? Why? He's a rabbit? I mean, a rabbit, you need longer. Two minutes sex? Look like Mimi Hijab. He is so fast. He have orgasm before even he take off his pant. Two minute Mimi Hijab, and he was describing the Muslim Sunni Salafi. If I am the one who said that, they would say, look how filthy he is. But this is the truth, sons of Muta. You call him son of Muta, he says he's insulting. Well, isn't it Muta is a supposedly you Muslim, you call it marriage? So I'm calling you son of marriage. What's wrong? Oh, no, no, Muta is a prostitution. Well, that's mean your prophet allow you to do prostitution and you call it marriage. So why are you upset from me, son of Muta? So the Muslim, they say, I hang up on them. I don't give them a chance to talk. I talk to people for two hours, three hours, and I hang up at the end. If they, you know, like two days ago, the, the, the video is still there. Like just go two days ago. Go watch, watch any videos I, I debated with Muslims. You Muslims, you cut and you show as you wish in my videos because you are a coward. You don't dare to debate me. However, today I have an offer for the all the Abduls. You say I don't accept moderator. And this is true because moderators will make you hide behind somebody this is the whole idea of moderator why we need a moderator have you ever heard of two people having 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 a fight fight and they ask for somebody to protect them so what the point of this fight who is the winner and they are saying to me uh we don't accept third moderator moderator uh, because he's afraid but I can call you on your channel. Still so don't accept. I can call this coward Uthman, the ketchup boy in his channel, all of them. I offer them all. I will call you on your channel. Still so they don't want it. So who is the one is a coward? But anyway, I decide to make an offer today. And I'm very serious. I say to myself, if I chosen a moderator, he is a Christian, Muslim will be say, oh, he will take his side. If I say he's an atheist, you never know. He might take the Christian side or maybe the Muslim, I'm not sure. So I, ch I, I decided to choose Muslim moderators. We have three musketeers, three Abduls, Shabir Ali, Yasser Qadi, Zakir Naik. I have no condition whatsoever. Who dare to debate me? In your channel. Are you listening? Muslims, in your channel. And not only that, I have another offer. 
If the moderator is Shabir Ali, I can debate Yasser Qadi. If the moderator is Yasser Qadi, I will debate Shabir Ali. If the moderator is Shabir Ali, I can take Zakir Naik or Mimi Hijab or all the all the all the all the, the potatoes. Who dare? I'm not choosing not a single Christian one. Those all of them they hate Christianity to death. So who dare? If you dare, let me know. And not in my channel. In your channel. Do you dare? You don't. So stop making excuse. You are impotent like Muhammad. Who claimed that a Jew, he made magic on him so he cannot have sex. Don't blame us for everything that happened to you. All of you are a bunch of cowards. If not, prove me wrong. I mean, Shabir Ali is easy to find. Let us say Yasser Qadi is busy now because the Muslim throw rocks at him. Since he don't believe in Gog and Magog, and he believes there's holes in the narrative, Shabir Ali is the easiest. Yasser uh, Zakir Naik, I mean, he will be great, you know, moderator. Christian Prince, first of all, it's not your turn. And now we have to twist the microphone to Mr. Mimi Hidab. What do you say? What do you say? You are going to suffer horribly, as the Prophet said, in the grave. The Prophet of Allah, he told the truth, that there's 99 dragons who go inside your anus. But look like the 99 dragons is already inside your anus because of someone, his name is a Christian prince. I am your nightmare. You don't dare to debate me, and all the excuses you said is just a lie, stupid. I am the one who call you on your channel, and why I need a moderator in your channel. In your channel. You need a moderator because you need somebody to hide behind when the bunches come. You go watch any debate, there is a moderator. Do the Muslims answers. You have to enforce your question. You have to ask the question a thousand times. And still they will not answer it. Speaking of the punishment of the grave. I studied the three questions Prophet Muhammad, he said, the angel will ask me in the grave so I can pass. What a stupid prophet. He told us what is the answer to get away with it. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody telling his people when you go to the grave, two angels will come to you and they will ask you three questions. What is your reason? You say Islam. Who is your God? You say Allah. And then they will show you a picture of Muhammad from his profile in Andrew Mate to Tetate website in the porn website. Who is this guy? You say Muhammad having sex. And then the angel will let you go. Have you ever heard of such a stupid test like this? So we now we know that we, we know the answer. Who's going to be punished? And the answer is published in every book. And now in the internet. And you're asking who's going to pass? Don't blame me for making your prophet the joke of the century. He is a joke. And you are a joke. And this is why you're complaining and you are trying to find an excuse why you cannot. And you don't dare to debate me. Abdul, I'm Christian Prince. And you are a Abdul. It doesn't matter how big you grow. You marry for two minutes or three minutes. That will not change the fact that you are a rabbit. Don't ever pretend to be a lion. We got you busted. Thank you all for being here. Download the video and share my challenge to every Muslim. Please change the title. Say it. Christian Prince challenging every Muslim. Yasser Qadi, Mimi, Zuzu, Dudu, Fufu, I don't care. Those are three moderators. Choose one. They are Muslim. 
They hate us, they hate Jesus, they hate Christianity, they hate the Bible. I'm choosing three of you. Do you dare to debate me? More excuse to come and more to follow. Thank you all for being here. This is your brother Christian Prince making the shortest video ever to install terror in the heart of the disbelievers. Muhammad, he said he want to install terror in our heart. And do you see how scared we are? We are scared, obviously. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And what say you about my offer, Abdul? Who dare to meet me in the square? Take care.